Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make it look like your shoes are walking by themselves. For that, we need a pair of shoes. I'm going to use a Jordan 1 track red and a camera stand. Now you can do it without a camera stand if you've got someone else modelling your shoes for you and you've got very steady hands, but it's a lot more difficult to do. Now a couple of things to think about when you're taking the photo is I've put white socks on so that you can clearly see a difference between my socks and the black top bit there. So if I was wearing black socks, it's going to be a nightmare to be able to see it properly when you're editing it later. You're also going to want to try and shoot below the shoe because you don't want to be able to have where that bit should be in the shot once you've edited your foot out. You only want to see that side and have the back of it blocked by the front so it doesn't look stupid and like part of the shoe's chopped off in the final photo. So I'm going to be taking two photos, one of me wearing the shoes and a second one of just the background. So once I've got my photo of me with the shoes on, ideally you want to have your pants pulled up quite far so you, they're not getting in the way when you're editing later. And then once you're taking that first shot, you're going to want to turn your uh, manual focus on so that when you're taking the second photo, the focus is at the same spot because you don't want the background to change to being in focus rather than out of focus as the first one was. Now I'll go outside and shoot this but it's raining and I don't really want to do it in the rain so I'm just going to shoot it indoors but not use my backdrop at all just to show you that it can be done without one of them. So let's take the photos. Alright so now you're taking the photos you should have two photos that look like this. One with you in the shoes and one with just a blurred background. So now I've got them we can go and edit them. Okay, so once you've edited both your photos, you want to bring them both over into Photoshop. Do what we did last time. Take one of them, put it over the top of the other. And then turn it to a screen so you can see through it. Just make sure they line up properly. But if you did it on a camera stand, they should just line up properly anyway. So switch that back. If you double click on that one, turn it to a layer. You want to make sure the one with your shoes is the one that's on the top. And all we're going to do again, select that one, make me brush a bit bigger, pretty much just to raise out my legs. Made it a bit bigger, it's a bit too slow. You can see the slightly different colours, but we can fix that in a bit. Right, once you're close to that one, make your brush a bit smaller. Zoom in. See, this is why I wore white socks for it so you can a lot clearer see the difference between them. As you get close, you might want to harden your brush up a bit, just so you don't start raising loads of the shoe. No one's going to notice. Right, sand. Maybe a bit softer, get rid of that hard bit there. All we're going to do is I'm going to highlight the background one. And either go up here to brightness and contrast, or create new fill or adjustment layer, and then go to brightness and contrast. And that'll allow you to just change. If it's just over that layer, I like to change how bright it is. So we'll brighten that up a bit so it matches a bit better. Like that. And then if you right click or double click if you want to mark, merge visible layers. Then there's a few bits up here you can see that are slightly different. 
if you just go around them use the patch tool which is the one over here it might say spot healing rush at first but just go over the, select the patch tool highlight what you want to change then just drag it over slightly you can see that a bit that's better bit down here So what that patch tool is doing, it's looking at where you've highlighted, like there. And then it's looking, you'll see this other one that comes off it. It's then looking at what's in that other box and pretty much merging the two together. So like if you're fixing something there, you don't want to drag it over here because the lighting's completely different. Because if you do that, you've got a big white circle because the lighting's just completely different in the two areas. So you just want to do little tiny moves and it'll just blend the two together and there you go export it and you've got some shoes that are walking on their own All right, so just to show you that you can do it outside as well. I've got one that I posted a long time ago. So same as before. Drag it in over the top. Make sure they line up nicely. Turn that back to normal. Double click on that. Switch it to a layer. And have it on top. It was much easier doing it outside with everything lit properly. And get me a razor. A bit bigger. You'll see. And that down. Over there a bit. Pretty much just gets rid of it. Do it all that quickly so it blends in easier. There you go. And you get closer to the shoe, make it a bit smaller. go and then make it a bit bigger get, that, get rid of that so again you can spend a lot more time on it than I am right now to get it perfect and that's pretty much Done. Right click, merge visible. There you go. Some self walking shoes.